Hi there, once again your wisdom mentor is back again. My name is Edwin RJ, all the way from J Town City. God bless you. Today we are talking about the rest. Come on, say it with me. The rest. Come on, say it one more time with me. The rest, part one. So, what is the rest? Rest is a period of time when you are relaxing, chilling, refreshing from all your troubles, all your pains, and all your sorrows. Now, look at your life. Would you say that your life is restful? Would you say that you have seen the rest of God or are you seeing rest in your life in all areas? Many people have um, struggled all their lives. They were born struggling. They grew up struggling and even now they are struggling. Struggling in their finances, struggling in their marriage, struggling in their relationships, struggling even in their churches, struggling everywhere in ministry and everything is struggle. Do you know that God did not design you to struggle in your life? If you find yourself struggling, it means that something has gone wrong. And until you check that thing that has gone wrong, you will discover that life will be miserable to you. But do you know that God, Almighty God, did not call you to struggle? And even he gave us an example for he created the earth in seven days. And then in Genesis chapter 2 verse 2, we see that and on the seventh day God ended his work which he had made and he rested on that seventh day. God rested so that he will give us an example. He left an example to us so that we will have a rest. If you are working, you are a workaholic, you work from morning till night, and then you don't have a rest then you are not following the example of your maker because there is supposed to be a rest and I know what you are thinking many of us when we talk about a rest we are thinking about sleeping relaxing sitting down it is part of it but necess not necessarily it if you see that you are struggling financially then you are not rested if you see that your family is going haywire, then you are not rested. If you are a pastor and your ministry is going in confusion, then truly you are not rested. Rest is when you can say of the truth that God is in control and you can relax and see things happening. Relaxing does not mean that you are not doing anything. Relaxing does not mean that you are not taking responsibility for what you should take and do what you are supposed to do. No, that's not what we are talking about. What we are talking about is that relaxing is following instruction, being obedient to God, following the blueprint and then do you know what? Allowing him to do things of his strength. Remember, the Bible says, "By is not by might, is not by power, but my spirit." So, rest is kind of following the spirit, or um, putting your confidence in the spirit of God to see that things happen in your life, or things are happening in your life. If you find that in the last six months or last three uh, months or the mo a month ago you've not been seeing any hand of God in your life, then you are not rested. And many people have not found rest in their lives. That's why they are struggling so much. If you find that nothing is working in your life, it means that you are working with your strength and you are not working in the place of rest. And do you know what? God did not design you to struggle. Many people think that because they are struggling, that that is the will of God. It's not the will of God for you to struggle because even God himself rested and do you know what the Bible says the Bible says in Genesis chapter 8 verse 4 and the ark rested on the seventh day imagine God rested on the seventh day now when the ark of Noah was floating in the sea and then it rained so much and the whole first earth ended do you know that it came somewhere to a mountain called Ararat and then it rested on the seventh day of the month. I mean it rested on the seventh month, on the seventeenth day of the month on Mount Ararat. That's what I'm saying. Now many of us look at this year I don't know how much struggles you've gone through. I don't know what has not been working in your life. I don't know how much or what you had, had to go through. 
But let me tell you, do you know that there is a rest and God has designed that you are supposed to be in that rest. Your family is supposed to be in that rest. You are supposed to have a rest, a restful job. You are supposed to have a restful marriage. You are supposed to have a restful relationship. You are supposed to have a restful church. You are supposed to have a restful ministry. You are supposed to have a restful assignment. If you are following the blueprint of God, then you are supposed to walk in that rest. Many of us, we find ourselves struggling continuously. It is not God's will for you to struggle, I repeat. So, today, would you receive that rest that God has for you? Because let me tell you, there is a day of rest. There is a month of rest. There is a rest that God has designed for us. In fact, do you know that even the word of God in Hebrews, it talks about that rest. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 9 it says there remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God there is a rest that God has designed for a people of God that rest is not necessarily um, chilling it's not necessarily relaxing no it's that all your troubles come to zero despite the fact that there are challenges all around but you are restful in mind you are restful in spirit you are restful in soul you are restful in body and this is your wisdom mentor this is edwin aj all the way from j town city saying that you need to rest from all your troubles god has designed a day of rest for you not necessarily that you will not work but then that all your troubles become zero there may be challenges around, but all your troubles get to zero. Now, will you receive that rest today in the name of Jesus? So, I call forth the rest for you right now in the name of Jesus. Today, I command it restful for you. This month, I command it restful for you. This year, I command it restful for you. And there is no challenge that can stand you, face you. There's no challenge that can discourage you in the name of Jesus. I break every trouble, break every bondage, break every sin in your life in the name of Jesus. I Come in the name of the Lord and I take control of every challenge and I command that you have a miracle testimony today, this week, this month in the name of Jesus. The hand of God is mighty upon you and you will see the Lord move in your life like never before. God bless you. This is your wisdom mentor once again and I am speaking all the way from J-Town City. I love you. God bless you. Have a restful, peaceful, wonderful day in the name of Jesus. God bless you. This song says hallelujah, hallelujah. That's what my song will be. Whatever I'm going through, that's what my song will be. In the face of tribulation, all I have to say is hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and say hallelujah. That's what my song will be. That's what my song will be That's what my song will be